your first team from Kuznia Krasnodar. And your team from St. Petersburg, AS team. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Thermoply Team Combat coming from the M1 Arena in St. Petersburg. I'm Ian M16 Butlin and I'm joined by Ian at the Machine Freeman, our MC and my partner for the evening. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen. You are about to see history first, guys, to start fighting here. Kickboxing rules. You knock your opponent down if he doesn't get up within a certain time, the next fighter comes on. These are five minute rounds. Each new partner is five minutes. The winner can stay on and he can finish the whole team by himself if he can. Well, Nicky Tenko so far covering up as Rakimov fires in big heavy shots here with his small gloves. Oh, but nice big right hand. Working the body beautifully. He's cut already Ian on the nose. There's blood coming from the nose. Attempt, attempted spinning kick, nice low kick. Nikitenko too defensive for me and I don't think they've got time to be defensive with this style. It's Rakimov teeing off on him now. Nikitenko now trying to come forward, trying to take the sway away from Rakimov. Well, let's not, let's not forget, Ian, the more power that you put into this first... Body shot. Shot. The body shot hurt him! Spinning heel kick. Nikitenko saw that, he felt the body shot sink in and he's come on the attack now Ian. You think he would go for the body a little bit more? Oh, right hand! Nice right hand! Well, I, Rakimov started off hard but maybe that was his downfall. He's now lagging a little bit. Again with those low kicks though. Big smile from Nikenko. Yeah, he's covering up and he's coming back with shots. Maybe the slow start really was a plan, Ian. Obercut just missing the mark. Again, throwing the, throwing the shots hard, covering up, getting a breather, and then coming back heavy. Nice body kick. Oh, left hook just missing. Well, they're leaving nothing behind these two guys. Both guys are going for it. Definitely going for the finish all the way through. Oh! Nice right hand. Well, ask, the kid he told asking for the time. Five minutes may not seem long, but when you're toe to toe like this, it is long. That's two huge body kicks from Rakimov sinking in under the ribs of Nikitenko. Nikitenko finding his time, nice hands. Oh, little short left hook too. But look at his teammates and his teammates are egging him on. Yeah. They, they are cheering for all oh, left hook. Oh, a huge shot there, Rakimov. This is so backwards and forwards, Ian. Now oh, again, works that body. Oh. Nice work. Beautiful technique. See his partner's teammates tapping him on the shoulder, Ian. Oh, there's a cut above that. Oh, that's a beautiful body shot again there. Oh, yellow card. 
Doctor's been asked to go in and have a look at the cut, but he got a yellow card. I think that was holding on, pushing his opponent when he was down, up against the ropes. So this is a first little breather, a chance for Nikitenko to have a rest. Well, what a, what, who could, I mean, you couldn't anticipate. Heel kick from Nikitenko and the back in. Again, working that body. Left hook to the body, nice uppercut. Oh, again with that spinning heel kick. The difference here is the combinations coming from Nikitenko. Rakimov only threw his single shots. Yeah, Nikitenko looks fitter, he looks stronger. Oh, nice high kick! He's breaking him down here, Ian. This could be the, the, the way it switches, all the, uh, low blow. Well, I think Rakimov needed that breather. Well, the referee said he's happy for it to continue, and continue it does. Oh, right hand! He's wobbled! He is wobbled! Saved by the bell, Rocky Bob. Well, that round will go to the judges. What an awesome start. The judges will score how that fight went, and then Number two fighters will have to take part now. Absolutely action packed first round, Ian. If that's the, the, the sign of things to come. This is going to so. Nikitenko has already done five minutes and he has to go in again. Oh, he'll kick straight to the back of the head. I mean, oh, the stronger, the fitter, the more. The fresh. Rest. Yeah, look at the way he's going forward. Probably the right plan here, he's coming in, he knows he's tired, coming fresh. Well, he went in rough, he went in hard. Yeah, I don't think that was an intentional shot to the groin. It looks like possibly Nikitenko. It's all about how big your heart is. Nikitenko goes forward with a stiff jab. Oh, swinging for the fences, Anokin. But as you say, they were swinging oh, shots. That was low, that was low. Yeah, that was a low blow. Not allowed to grab the back of the head, there's no clinching. No clinching allowed, yellow card. Well, do you know what? I'm a big fan of Nikki Tenko already. What a tough guy. He shakes his head there. He's not phased in the slightest. Still wanting to fight. Although he wants to fight it, he does have to think about his energy. This is what Thermopylae is all about. It's survival of the fittest. Well, this is what he did at the start of the first fight. If you watch, he, he, he covered up, he took some shots, he had a little breather. I think he's pacing himself very well. Well, the referee is breaking them up. You're not allowed to clinch. You're not allowed to keep a hold of them against the ropes. This has got to be a combat toe-to-toe -to -toe sport. Nice body shot. Oh! Beautiful shot. I think he was kicking while holding oh, the ropes. Oh, yellow card. Well, the Thermopylae is designed in a long, narrow passage, just like it was in Greece back in 480 BC. There's no way past. You have to beat the man in front of you. And this is what's happening right now. Well, Nikitenko looking strong still, covering up well. Strong, powerful shots. Anakin, he wants this win. Nikitenko has just beaten his teammate. Again, he was grabbing the back of the head. He's going to get another yellow card. That's the third yellow card. That's it. It is over. Nikitenko wins two out of four. Well, expect the fresh fighter to come out fast again, Ian. That's what we saw then. Nikitenko looking strong. Dimitri Zahavlid now up against Nikitenko. Nice left hook. Shake of the head from Nikitenko. What a tough guy. 
Right hand fired back from Nikki Tenko. Again, a nice left hook. Spinning heel kick to the liver. Beautiful. Oh, right hand. Good oh, he oh, caught nice. with the left hook there. He went for the body and got tagged with the left hook. Again with that left hook. That's his bread and butter shot. The Havrid is looking for that knockout. Oh, nice knee. Well, I was told this was going to be a fast, fast game. And my word, it's fast and it's hard. Yeah, big shots going in there from Zavrid. Nikitenko still keeping to that same style though, it's keeping nice and tight even when oh. tired. This is his third opponent. If he beats this guy, there's only one more to go. Hands are down. Breathing heavy. Oh, oh beautiful! Right right hand. He's it's wobbled hard. him! He's wobbled him! That's three! The referee is calling a break. No, he's let him continue, but he was wobbling there, Ian. Well, one more shot, I think it could be over. Nice, one, two to fire back with, though. Nikki Tenko knows he can get him now. Knows he can give him the damage. Rabin is not allowed to clinch. He's not allowed to grab the back of the head. Oh, beautiful he's body what shot. shot! He's done him! He's down! Nikki Tenko's taken out three. It's over! It's, it's, over. it's over! Wow! Fighter number four must be thinking, what do I have to do? <laughs> Nikitenko swapped. Ooh, ooh, Maxim Loginov has taken over from Nikitenko, Ian. What a great innings there from Nikitenko. You know, you've got to take your hat off to him. He could come back in another round. The semi-finals, if they're not there yet, but the semi-finals are just around the corner. So we will have to rest. What a great tactic. Well, he's knocked three guys out of the competition. And now his partner, Maxim Loginov. No grabbing the legs. Well, this is a game of strategy. It's not just a game of who's the best kickboxer. It's a game of strategy. Do you put your best puncher in first? Do you put your best kicker in first? Do you put the toughest guy in last? It's all about strategy. Yeah, they have the captain sat at the side, he makes those decisions. The fighters just get in there and fight. I think this is a good kickboxing match. Loginov looks very sharp. Punches, round kicks. Colton is firing back also. But again, working that liver. Loginov, left hand to the liver constantly. Jab and a hook. And as you can see, there are no teammates for Colton. Yeah, Colton's got it all to fight for here. He knows he's got to take on three guys if he's to win this for his team. And he could still do it. He could still do it. It's a big challenge. Body shots again firing in there from Loganov. Oh, nice knee. Slowing down just a little bit now with Loganov. Colton coming back with the liver kick. Slight clinch on the knee. Oh, nice. It's Loginov that's looking marked up to the face now, Ian. Left hook to the head, though. That rocked him a little bit. Oh, right hand. That was a beautiful right hand. Loginov on the attack. Yeah, there's a lot of damage to the right side of Colton with the left body shot. Well, if you're wondering why they stopped there, they did get into a clinch. The referee is still ringside, albeit the ring is not big enough for a referee. He is at the side, still shouting out orders. Well, they're keeping up a great pace here, still Ian. Oh, nice liver shot. Halfway through this round. Nice left hook. 
There's now a huge welt developed to the leg. Oh, you can see it here. Off. What a mark on the leg. How's that going to slow him down as we go further onto the competition? Well, again, illegally grabbing the head, a yellow card. Three yellow cards and he's out. Can Colton knock out some of the Kuznir team? Oh, that was a beautiful right hand. It was a little hook over the top. He threw a jab and he counted with an overhand right. Oh, left hook to the, to the jaw, that wobbled him. Nice knee, again he clinches, another yellow card. It's very hard, when you are used to doing tie clinch and they get close, it's very hard. But those are the rules, he cannot clinch. Again he grabbed, again he grabbed. Referee just gave him the warning that time. The whole point of Thermopylae is constant action. And with this first team event, we have had nothing but action. Yeah, non-stop shots coming in. A variety of knees, kicks, punches. Oh, I think that's a legal blow. Grabbing him from the back and then throwing the knee. That's it, third one. It's over. And the winners are from Kuzia Krosnodor. What a great win for the team.
your fighters from Uchku Chelyabinsk. Your fighters from St. Petersburg, Zen Team. Team Combat, fight number two. We have Uchku from Chelyabinsk taking on the Zen Team from St. Petersburg. Well, the team from St. Petersburg with the nickname The Grave Diggers. Let's see how many bodies they put six feet under tonight. Dmitry Koseka starting from the Grave Diggers fast. Shikov is limping, he didn't like that right hand. No, they crashed into each other. They looked to maybe stand on the foot. Oh, he's a little bit stiff, Shikov. He needs to move. That front leg as well is very heavy on the ground. A low kick would do nicely right there. Big right hand. Yeah, that right cross coming over the top nicely. Kozefa is throwing on again with that team. Shikov looking way too hesitant here. He can't do that in this event. Oh, the hands are a little bit slow, a little bit stiff. Swinging for the fences now though. And again with that right hand. Shikov needs to use his reach, use those long straight shots. Ozeka is firing forward. That right hand is straight and stiff. Again. Nice job. Equally matched these two guys though. Same sort of stance, same sort of height, same sort of skill. Yeah, I think the only difference, a little hesitantness from Shikov. But again, he's just slipping back off that right hand. He's just giving himself enough room. Oh, got tagged with the right hand there. You said it and he got caught again. It's getting closer and closer. Tries to go for a jumping knee, and again, needs to be careful turning his back though because you can still be punched. So he needs to remind them about the leg kicks. I really think the leg kicks the leg make kicks a difference. The leg kicks work well, Ian. Very heavy is on his front foot, Ishikov. A nice, beautiful low kick to that leg will sharp put him out of his misery. Definitely got that boxing stance, too much weight on the front leg, and he can take away from that for Thai boxing. He's got a bit of a, oh, right hand. There's the right. The jab worked as well. Again with that right hand. His jab's a little bit slow, a little bit stiff. Yeah, again, he seems to stiffen up when he gets caught, doesn't he? Kozek is working well, he's moving better. Nice shin check. Yeah, Kozek just looking a little more organized than the two now. Starting to get his distance. Yeah, he's starting to make his mark now, but nice spin spinning kick. And that's what I think Shikov needs to do, just change his game up a little bit, throw some kicks, throw some leg kicks. Yeah, I think we've seen one leg kick in this bout. Five minutes they have. Oh. Oh, halfway through. Oh, he's out! It, oh! He's out. He's out on his feet there. He was gone. He was gone. He spat his gum shield and he shook his head. No, he doesn't want to continue. He's done. He's down on all fours. That right hand put him to sleep standing. It was getting closer and closer as the bout went on, wasn't it, Ian? The right hand, it fell a little short, fell a little short, got closer, Six. and then he landed it. Zubarev now takes the place against Koska. The taller of the two, Koska, but firing well, Zubarev. Now it's him that's using the kicks. Nice inside kick by Zubarev. All these guys between 80 and 90 kilos, Zubarev looks on the smaller end of that. Yeah, 10 kilos may be a big, big gap, but but the speed will be there. The speed will be at an advantage. Left hook there by Zubarev. Yeah, he's got to use the fitness, the fact that he's coming fresh to his advantage. Well, he's putting Kozovka in the back foot. Oh, nice right hand again, though. Kozovka takes a big kick. Yep. Oh, he clinched. Not allowed to grab the head. Just a warning this time, not a yellow card. Zubarev keeping that pace up. He knows it's his advantage, he's nice. coming in later. That was a beautiful shin check. Again, grab the head. He's going to get a yellow card. Again, it's instinct that makes you grab the head, especially if you're a good tie boxer. But you have to make sure you don't do it. Those are the rules. Yeah, it's so hard not to do it when it's instinct. Here they go again. Maybe the smaller of the two again, but he's certainly throwing those hands. Very fast combinations, mixing things up well. Again, he's grabbing, just left go at the right time there. Oh, oh, that was a left hook. And a beautiful right body kick to follow it. Yeah, Kozeka wobbled a little bit there. 
Kozeka must be getting tired, the pace he's gone for this. Well, that's the thing, it may only be five minutes, but well, five minutes is a long time. But there's nowhere to breathe. There's no rest. There's no error for mistakes. And this is just constant backwards and forwards. He's finished his first opponent and he gets somebody fresh. Yeah, I mean, top level tie boxers are fighting three minutes. This is five minutes non-stop and then a new opponent. Oh, nice one, two. Teach to keep him alive. Oh! oh he's beautiful gone. right hand. Right hand has wobbled him. He did well to get out of the way then. Oh, oh he's down! He's out! He's down! He's down and out. He's okay. He said that the referee's all right. Well, but for how long? That's the heart there, Ian, that you were talking oh. about earlier. Well, he's wobbled again. That jab has put him down. That's it. Referee calls a stop. That's one each. Zabolotsky steps in now against Zubarov. Zubarov will be confident now. He knows he's got knockout power. Yeah, definitely used that speed to his advantage. Kept the pace high. Again, he's up against a guy who looks bigger than him. But the hands are low. Zabalotta, Zabalowski needs to keep his hands up. Yeah, definitely. He used that speed well. He's doing it. going to do the same thing again here. Nice kicks. The looks of it's such a huge difference in size, but that doesn't bother Zubarev in the slightest. He's wearing thin a little bit now, though, Zubarev. You can see he's breathing heavy. He's getting a little bit sloppy. Unsteady on the legs. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant, Ian. A little bit sloppy. Gets tagged with a one-two. But he comes back trying to meet his man in the middle. Nice knee. Doesn't clinch. Referee is right on top of it there. Oh, nice knee to the body again. Zabolowski is using that size advantage right now. Nice teep. Again with that knee. Well, what a great little hard Zubarev has got. Yep, yeah, trying to work down some. Referee's warning them not to clinch. There is absolutely nowhere to hide in this year, no. nowhere to rest. This, this is a ring of power. This is a ring of speed. This is a ring of heart. No one can escape it. And if you think you can, try stepping in there and doing it. There's only one way out, and that is to fight your way out. Well, you said it right at the start, Ian, and you can see it more and more as it goes on. Heart is going to be a big thing tonight. Again, the D there from Dobrovsky. Dobrovsky is using that reach advantage. The best thing to do is knee the smaller guy. He is going for the body, but he's allowed to go for the head if he wants. And the only thing he can't do is grab in a clinch. So that's why he's working the body. Well, that last attempt to the knee by Zolotsky looked slower and a bit laboured. He might be starting to tire himself. Oh, good shots, though. They are good shots. Halfway through this round. Well, you have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you're watching this, each time there is a new opponent, the clock gets set back to five minutes. So Zubarev has been in there longer than five minutes because he's had different opponents. Well, that was a big right hand from Zabolotsky. And blowing heavy now, Zubarev. Oh, that was a big hand. Big right hand over the top of the guard. Yeah, he's flaking a little bit, but who can blame him? The minutes that he has mounted up, the power that he's throwing, the energy that he has exerted. A definite damage there to the leg. Zabolotsky, his lead leg. Zubarev has been firing that low kick in. There's a huge weight advantage there. Like you said, Ian, Zubarev must be on the lower scale. Oh, nice right hand to the temple. But at least with his style, there's no clinch, so the weight's not as much of an issue when you're just firing shots in. Because Zubarev is really getting some good, fast shots into that leg. If you look oh, just above the knee. that was nice. That was nice. One, two, up the cup with the right hand. Again, clubbing him over the top of that guard. He's looking tired now, Zubarev covering up. He has to fight to the end, or he has to go down before the five minutes, before they stop fighting. He can't change opponents until the round. Now the other team, which is again part of what he's got to do. Oh! oh. 
Right hand with an uppercut. He looks down at the referee as if he had enough. He's doing so well to keep fighting here, Ian. Well, he's got to stay strong for 40 seconds. Again, he grabbed with the head. He grabbed the head. Not allowed. Great call by the referee. Look at the teammates there, trying to get pick him up, trying to tell him he's only got 35 seconds left of this round. What a warrior. Up against a much bigger guy. He's took... Well, fantastic work from Zubarev there. Really, really showed heart, grit, determination. Well, I'm sure he will change over. And the changeover will be Gnazdev. Oh, there's also been a change. There's been a change from the St. Petersburg. Two fresh guys that now. Knezev and Kujavivov. Kujavivov with a massive leg kick to come out. So this is the two number three picks facing off against each other fresh. Oh, he goes down. I think that was a slip. Kujachev though, come out with those low kicks from the start. Nice big right hand. Oh, he catches him with a big right hand and a knee. Knyazev is pouring on the power. Kudrovsev comes back in, knowing he's just dropped his opponent with a groin shot. Oh, jumping knee there. Knyazev gets tagged with a right hand, and again. Both guys swinging for the fences here. They need to be careful, they're clinching. Oh my word, they have... Oh, 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 oh. he's gone! Kinyazev knocks out his opponent. He's down and out. When you're swinging like that, Ian, it only takes one to clip the chin. And that's what happened. Yedinchuk is the only guy left in the St. Petersburg team. Oh, jumping knee. He is throwing for it. He's looking for a finish from the start. Yedinchuk, his plan isn't to wear his guy down, it's to put him out. Well, there's a lot on his shoulders. He's doing this for St. Petersburg. He's not just doing this for his team. He's doing it for the country. Yeah. Swinging huge shot made in Chuck. We'll see what happens when one of them big shots can land. Yazev jumping knee. They get into a clinch. They need to separate. Can Yazev backing him up? Oh, he swung for the fences and he missed the mark. Maidenchuk, Maidenchuk needs to be careful. He's grabbing, you're not allowed to grab. Well, he gets a blow. Obviously, accidentally threw a kick, but the toes went right up there. Well, he'll be thankfully readjusted, I think. Spin and back fist, followed by a right hand. Oh, nice high kick! Tried to follow the head kick with the right hand. Yusev is grabbing, he needs to be careful. Merichuk looking to finish with every single shot he throws. He's got some power, believe you me. Yeah, everything's slightly off target so far, but it only takes one landing as we've seen earlier. Well, Ian, the, the way he's throwing those punches, just like that, they only have to hit them off. Oh! Down and over, not down and out, but down and over. Oh, hands on the knees, that's not a good sign, he's tired. He's put, he's put everything into it. Nice jab. Still all to play for here, but he's... Was that down from his shot or just exhaustion here? Maiden should grab the legs and he fell backwards. He's done, he shakes his head. Yeah. With two fighters left. Uchko team from Chelyabinsk win.
Дамы и господа, в этом поединке одержался победу и вышел в полуфинал команда Пучко! Ladies and gentlemen, your fighters from Martial Arts Uva. Your second team from St. Petersburg, Fight Pro. You're watching Thermopylae Team of Combat. Fight number three, Martial Arts UFA. Take it on Fight Pro from St. Petersburg. Our first fighters are Koresh Sagov taking on Andre Tumushev. Aliyev, we have changed the lineup, Ian. Aliyev is now the first fighter. We have just been informed they have switched their fighters at the last minute. But now we know it's Sako versus Aliyev. Aliyev on the back foot, intentative, really slow jab. Oh, he's a little bit worried. He looks like he has power, but he's backing off. Yeah, very stiff. Oh, what a left hook. That's how you yeah. put someone down. Yeah. Fantastic counter left hook there. Timing perfect, and if he'd looked stiff and nervous before, he's going to be even more so now. Aliyev is on the back foot again. He needs to just put his chin down and go for it. You're way too stiff. He needs to let some shots go. Oh, those leg kicks are hard. Again with a nice right hand. Sagov looks composed, doesn't he? Yeah, Aliyev needs to be very careful. Lights could go out here. He's very, very tense. It's as if he's anticipating a shot coming. Oh, oh, again! That was a left hook from hell. Well, we could see that coming. It's a beautiful composure of Sagov. Nice left hook. Rasilov now takes place of Aliyev. Again gets tagged with the left hand. He came out beautiful. But look at the composure of Sagov. Yeah, this is great tie boxing. Little, little feints, see the little feints there with the right hand, watching what his opponent does. Yeah, that's the experience there, drawing it out of him. The nerves, look at that again. Rasulov. He's looking nervous already. I was going to say, Rasulov's got nice kicks though. They were strong in the southpaw stance now. Great distancing from Sagov there, just steps off the kick, comes back. Well, he could be in there for 20 minutes if the fight were to go the distance. So Sagov is just taking his time. But when he picks his shots, oh my word, he picks his shots. Rasulov needs to start to work that front leg. That's where he's got a success. Rasulov needs to kick the inside. Oh, he's going for a takedown. What? What? Instinct kicked in. If I'm getting punched, I'm going to take him down. Has he been disqualified for that? He's been done, that's one over. Navagadjev now steps in. No, it's not, it's Timoshev. Timoshev now. They switch places. Oh, Timoshev, the smaller of the guys. Comes out with the right hand. Well, as we saw earlier, the small speed can work with this no clinch. In and out. But again, the composure. Distance in of Sagan. Oh, nice spin and heel kick. Working the body beautiful as Timoshev. Nice jab as well. Oh, Timoshev is looking sharp. 
Yeah. Oh, left hook. Oh, but he gets counted. They're swinging for it. He doesn't want to get into a shot. Oh, oh, oh. one at a time, my friend, one at a time. <laughs> it looked ready to do another there. Again, instinct kicks in. There's two of them, two of them facing him. He thought two of them were going to come at him. So oh, oh, my Hughes word. Huge left hook, Sagov again. Oh, my word. Sagov is an animal. David Gadjiev. He changes places, Sagov. With Ovechkin. Ovechkin. Now against David Gadjiev. Sagov has to leave. Well, that was a fantastic three fights there for Sagov. Ovechkin comes in. He's just got one man to get rid of. Well, both these guys are afraid. Oh, left hook. They're both swinging. Well, Ian, when I was asked to do the commentary for this event, I had no idea it was going to be this explosive. We discussed it earlier. We knew it was going to be exciting, but it has really worked. And nice body shot there. Oh, lovely knee to the body. Ovechkin throwing the shots in. He's looking for a finish. Gets a little warning for grabbing. Navagadjiev doing well though, he's in there. Needs to keep out that corner, needs to keep out the corner. Yeah, Vetchkin putting the smaller man back on the ropes. Yeah, he can't, even if you pressure them with the head, even if you lean on them, you have to give them some space to move. Yeah, this is all about oh, non-stop David, action. David Gadjiev has caught him beautifully. Nice turn on the corner. Again, he turns beautifully. He's fighting for his whole team here, Ian. The last man standing. Big deep breath, though. David Gadjiev. Ovechkin comes in with a fiery knee. Again, back to the corner. David Gadjiev taking punishment. Another knee to the body. Oh, he goes down with that. Nice body shot. He looks exhausted here. Imagine feeling like that and knowing you've got two of the oh! guys. It's over. It's over. It's over. Three to nil. Одержала победу и вышла в полуфинал первого чемпионата России по командным боям в Фермопиле. Команда Маршалларс! Уфа! Ladies and gentlemen, our third team moving to the semi-finals. Уфа! Маршал Артс! И аплодисменты их соперникам команде Fight Pro Sound Peterbourg. And to your runners-up, St. Petersburg Fight Pro!
Ladies and gentlemen, your team from Rostov on Don, legend. Ladies and gentlemen, your fighters from Moscow, fight nights. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Thermopylae team combat, and this is our. Внимательно, правила помним, не нарушаем, касается всех. Работа в клинче запрещена. Внимательно. Готовы? Oh, he covers up well. Nice turn on the rope, though. South Paul versus Orthodox here. Oh, left hook! That got him! He went weak at the knees, Ian. Yeah, that rocked him there. Nice big left hook. And again. Can't take much more of those. He needs to move out the way. Again with a clinch. Tough to turn on those ropes. There's so, the, with such a long rope, it's going to be loose in the middle. So they need to stay in the middle of the area. Oh, right hand! That caught him. How is he still standing from that? Walked onto that one, but he's took it well. He's done a spin and back fist, nearly caught him with the elbow, which would have been illegal. There is no elbows. Well, Nikitin showed us he's got a good chin already, but how many can he take? Again, he takes a big right hand. Liver kick also the follow. Nice cheap, keeps him away beautifully. There's that right hand again. Nikitin is backing off a little bit, Ian. Yeah, Magomedov just looking the stronger of the two, very sturdy on his legs, backing up Nikitin. A little bit more of a measured pace than what we've seen all night. But they do have five minutes. There's that right hand down the middle again. Yeah, I mean, it's tempting to start fast, but I think it could be better to try and maybe pace yourself a little bit. Again with that spinning back fist, and again with the right hand. Well, Nikita covering it well because he has to. He's been hit with the right, he's been hit with the left. Both cause damage. By his back with a nice left hand of his own, though, Nikita. Yeah, definitely more success there in the south pole stance from Nikita than he's had earlier. Stay in south pole there. Oh, right hand over the top. Well, that's the key. The back leg is the key. Dual power with the back leg to the inside kick. Managed to back Magomed off there earlier, but he's coming back forwards. Well, Southpaw versus Orthodox, it's always the back leg that's going to throw with power. The Keaton points at himself if he's to say, Come on, I'm here, I'm ready for you. But he has took some punches. And yeah, Magomed looks tired now. Maybe thrown a lot into those big shots. You said earlier, you know, the heavier shots, tensing up for heavy shots can take it out of you, and he has done. If this was just a normal kickboxing bout, it would be equally matched. But obviously, when it's a team challenge, nobody knows who's going to go against who. But what a well-matched fight this is. Oh, spinning back fist. That's the third time he's used it already. Oh. So the kick's working better for Nikitin, but the punch is working better for Magomedov. Oh, right and hand! That was a good liver kick from Molotov. Yeah, Magomedov followed up his beautiful punches there. With the shots of Livy, through the punch in there to the liver. Definitely a great technique for working the damage on someone who's got to carry on a long time. Damaging well, that liver. One minute left to go, the eye is closing of Magomedov. Nice cheap to the face. Well, this could be one of the very few fights that have gone the distance. They have 50 seconds left. Well, it's, it's that counter right hook from the southpaw stance that's working for Nikitin, and that's what's swelled up the eye of Magomedov. The thing is, do they do the tactic of staying on and wearing down their opponents, or do they change tactics and go for a fresh partner? I think a fresh partner, if you're thinking of fighting in the semi-final, then the final would be a good idea. It's a yellow card for Nikita. Oh. 
Agamenov straight to the body again. We've definitely seen a lot of work to the body and from both, from every team we've seen tonight. That's one thing I've noticed, there was a lot of body shots, a lot of punches, a lot of kicks. This is something obviously the Russians like to favour. There we go with the kicks to the body, that was a nice shot to the liver. You've got to think if it's a tactic that's been discussed as well with, with just with these these rule set. Well, a five minute round. We go to the judges' scorecards to see who's won. So it looks like Magomedov staying in. Is he going to stay? Oh, they did swap around who was coming out then. So here we go. Fight Nights have got their new... Well, we believe it's Doroshenko. There was a little bit of conversation. One person came forward, then the other. Maybe they didn't know who was the second fighter. But let's fingers crossed because we don't know these fighters personally, but we do have the names down. The second fighter, Doroshenko. Yeah, I don't know whether they swapped for Babkin because they'll look like they're having a discussion. But either way, we've got what we think is Doroshenko. Nice kick again, strong, powerful. There's a low calf kick. Doroshenko, obviously the fresher of the two. Is he going to use that to his advantage, start to work? You can see the power in his upper body of Doroshenko. The traps on him, look at the muscle. Yeah, very heavily muscled. The thing is, will that slow his punches down or will it create power? We're about to find out. You gotta wonder if that gonna work as yeah as the time goes on, five, ten minutes on. Will he start to cramp? Will he start to build up lactic acid? Well, Magomedov again, a nice complacent style, nice and loose, not burning up any energy, but look at the power. Daroshenko is throwing. Nice low kick. Yeah, thankfully for Magomedov, nothing's landed clean yet, but they are big shots swinging in. Well, not allowed to grab the leg, I think it was instinct. As we know, all night we've seen it happen. Grabbing the leg, tie clinch. All the instincts have to be taken out of the game. And this is a new format for everybody. But it's sure to be all action as Magomedov carries on. Working the low kicks. He's using that reach to his advantage. Punching right on the outside, as soon as he's hit, he moves backwards. And one of the good things about Thermopylae is that you can't get cornered. Once you get up against the ropes, you still have to give them that little bit of breathing distance. Otherwise, you'll be warned by the referee and possibly given a yellow card for clinching. Yeah, as we said earlier, there's just nowhere to hide. It is all action. Magomedov seems to have got his win back. He looks a little tired at the end of the first. He's won that and he's come back. He looks good, he looks composed again now. Well, it's the pace, the pace of this fight again. It's just a little bit slower than what we see tonight. Nice body shot with an overhand left hook. The only thing I fear is the winner of this team, whichever team it may be, we've seen some of the teams earlier, they go all out. Punches, kicks, and they go out with full force and fury. Will Magomedov, oh, Daroshenko be able to take that kind of style because they are the school type of kickboxer. Yeah, and these are going to be long draining fights where some of the other teams have had some quick wins tonight yes. and they're going back fresh. Exactly. Early stoppages. Uh, and I think as the night wears on, we might find that the early stoppages is, a, is the good way to go. For yeah, well, that's going to favour them, isn't it? Because obviously they've only had a few minutes in the in the ring. Where these guys, well, especially Magomedov, has now gone in a second. Well, he's gone nine and a half minutes, eight and a half minutes, coming up to nine. Yep, but he's still very strong at the moment. And there is two spares for each team they can use. Yeah, the, uh, there is alternatives, yeah. Which, uh... oh, oh, right hand! That caught him flush, that right hand. Yeah, big shots coming in there from Donoshenko. Oh, and again! Magomedov being told off for grabbing the hands. 
It's like a stocky, well-built tank firing in the bombs. Uh, well, you credit the Magomedov, he's still standing. Nice low kick. Oh, that hurt him. He took a big deep breath there. He did, that body kick. He took a big deep breath. Oh, that was a bit low. Not allowed to clinch. Yellow card for clinching. Well, you saw it there, Ian. It was that body kick seemed to just give him that half a step back. He needed to take that breath. Well, we're down to 30 seconds of this. The second fighter in. Surely, if Magomedov does win this, he's going to want to have a sit out after this. Yeah, you would think a tactic would tell him to go out. Doroshenko still swinging for the fences, looping overhands. Whereas the sharper, more organised work has come from Magomedov. And there we have it. Two rounds, who will stay in, who will go out? And he has Magomedov asked to leave. It was very close that year, and I think they both landed a lot of shots. Yeah, Shudarashenko stays in, and we get a new opponent, Klinovsky. Klinovsky, tall. Light on his front foot, lifting the front foot of the tie style. Oh, there's the power coming, though. Varashenko, he may have done five rounds, sorry, five minutes, but he's still got power. You can see the way he's built, but normally when you build like that, you can actually burn yourself out with lactic acid. But he'll have built some confidence there just by putting a guy away. You know, coming out, you've already beat one man. You feel strong, you feel good. Oh! oh! That was some body shot. He's got to carry on. Oh, again, he goes for the body. Yeah, sharp shots now with this onslaught. Klinovsky can smell the blood. He's covering up to the body there. They heard that at the back of the arena, Ian. Well, this is turning out to be a great final team matchup. Three fighters each. Nice double jab with the left hand. Klinovsky smelt blood in nose. Oh, oh, he's gone! That's it. He has to get straight back up. What a tough guy. Danashenko goes down, but as quick as he went down, he gets back up. Drop to the body, drop to the head. And Klodowski's got to be building confidence here now. Well, he's just going to slowly pick his shots. Where's he going to cover up now, Ian? He needs to cover up the head and body. His arms aren't big enough. That's the thing. And for those watching at home, Doroshenko cannot swap teammates until the five minutes is over or he beats his opponent. Oh, that looked like last big oh! swings. It could be the end. Oh, what a tough yes. guy. What a tough guy. Doroshenko wants to go on. He does not want to quit. Well, what you have to remember, Ian, is you're doing this for your team, not just for yourself. Yeah, he needs to tie him out for the next man, put as much in as he possibly can, grit those teeth. And that's what he's doing, he's biting down on that gum shield, biting down on that mouth guard, and he is swinging for it. Just misses with the left hook, there's Klinovsky. Great heart again from Doroshenko, but it looks like he's fighting the dying... Oh, he's still got punches left. <laughs> Just as I say it. Well, a nice kick to the liver as well from Klinovsky. Again, he's working that body. Yeah. Is he straight up? The crowd are loving this. They're loving the show of heart. This Russian crowd. There's only so many times you can go down, though. He's now covering up. Oh, big right hand. Big deep breath as well, though. Working the body himself. Yeah, he's digging deep, throwing single shots, but they are big single shots. Oh, did you see that <laughs> knee? That just went over the top of the head. <laughs> it's a risky move to duck under a knee. Great 
great showing of heart here. But Klonowski's got to be seeing the end, oh, and he has. Again, it's has got to, that, that's got to be the end, that body shot. Yep. Yeah. And it's it, that's over. It's over. Now we go to Babkin. Big round of applause for Doroshenko, though, there. He took some really serious, solid shots. Babkin versus Klonowski. We're now down to three to two. Very, very close team matchup. Is Babkin going to start fast? Again, that back leg for both of these guys is a good weapon. No, oh, nice right hand. By it back with the knee, Klinowski. Covering up well from the hands, coming back with the knee. They could do with trying to get those hands working as well. Yeah, Bab can start off a little bit slow. Oh! Got tagged but fired back with a body kick. Oh, oh, oh! You could see the knee cock ready to fire, but he had a hold of the head, which would have been illegal. Nice knee to the body by Babkin. Babkin start to warm into this now. So that's the other thing as well. They might be coming out fresh, but it could be a little bit cold. Maybe just have to warm into it. Well, you can see the fighters. Well, from my advantage point, you can. You can see the fighters who are not fighting. They're slapping themselves on the thighs. They're hitting themselves on the arms and the shoulder. They're trying to stay warm. It's very hard when you're watching a fight for 15 minutes. Klonowski still working at a tremendous pace. Back in fire, back in Take every advantage you can. Yeah, when the boat's in action, you know, you're not allowed to get a piece of water. You're not even allowed to get corner man advice. But here we go. Nice jump in knee, that was good. But followed by a nice left hand. Yeah, good straight left hand again. Maybe that drink of water give you a little boost. Babkin takes a big deep breath. The pace they fought, and there's still two minutes left of this round, Ian. Oh, right hand by Babkin. Pushed whoa, him against whoa, the rope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good shot. That's better. Nice kickboxing there. Great left hand. Stop. Stop. Babkin needs to start to work some shots in now. Let Klinowski take over. Well, a lot of clinching happening. I would be surprised if the referee gives it Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Very, very close fight this one. I think, from what I've seen, Klinovsky just, just pipped it for me with that nice jab in the left hand. Yeah, beautiful leg kick as you were saying that, Ian. Start to work those legs there. So we think Klinovsky, but it was close. Yep, so it was Klonovsky who won, but they've swapped anyway. So Bab Sultan Gapizov. Sultan Gapizov for Legion. And big tall guy, isn't he? Gapizov. Look at that tie stance, tipping on the yeah. toes. That's what a Thai boxer does. And especially, you know, the tall, that's tall, perfect sort of build for the Thai. Laev has to get past that long reach. But that tapping style, can that rhythm work in this sort of an event? I think it can, I think it can, just for the fact that because there's no, no room to manoeuvre, Thai boxers are kind of in your face. So I think it's a good style for this kind of matchup. Oh, right hand! And a low blow. Well, the score is now two to one. Oh, that was a nice turning kick. Soslan Asparov itching to get out himself. He may not have to. At the moment, his gap is off. Using that height, using that reach. Valiev having to close the distance, land his own shots. Gapazov is just waiting until he gets steps in. There you go. Oh, again with the right hand. But the power from Belayev. Right. Nice low kick. That was strong. His knee popped the other way. Yeah, it's a nice little half step back he takes as well. Gapazov before he throws the shot. That was busier work though for Belayev. Not so light on his toes now, albeit one and a half minutes are gone. But this is a long, hard pace for five minutes. Not many fighters can go at this kind of pace for five minutes. Belayev threw a right hand, but got caught with the left hook on the way in. It's a tough fight, five minutes for Belayev having to get in on that height. He's got to keep working, he's got to keep that head moving, he's fired his shots in. I'd like to see him work the body as well because of the height difference. Yeah, the legs and the body, they're all there to be hit. There you go. Oh! 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 <laughs> he is done and out! What a oh shot! Oh my word! Well... He, so was, he was down and out! Well, We're down to the final two fighters. Wouldn't this be a comeback if Belayev can win this last bout? Well, Asbunov was itching to get down and now he's got his dream. He is going now against Belayev. That was a knockout of the night. Will he be so keen to go out after seeing what happened to his teammate? Well, he has to, he's got no choice. But Belayev will be on a high right now. And if he takes this... The this first time tonight we've gone down to the final two fighters. Yeah, it's all riding on these two now. Both guys got the weight of their clubs on the shoulders. Asbarov, yet to throw a punch. Like you said, oh, there you go with the jab. He will be tentative. He's just watched his teammate get knocked out in no... Oh, both guys are swinging. This might not last long. Oh, Belayev got tagged. Belayev got tagged big and hard. Asparov really determined here to get one back. Well, the winner of this bout goes through to the semi-final. Again, a groin shot. Well, we've seen a few of those tonight, mate. We have. Let's hope they keep the pace up here now. Well, there's a lot riding on it, Ian. I don't think they're going to go slow. There's a lot riding on it. 
It's the final two. The winner goes through to the semi-finals. There's a lot at stake. Oh, big right hand. That's the first minute gone. Look at the action we've had. It's only been one minute. Belayev took some big shots there, mind. Some big shots. Both teams watching on, looking at their guys, wondering if they're going to be going out again. Oh! Oh, big kick going in from nice. Belayev. Left hook. Asbarov fires back. Both guys are landing big shots, throwing and landing big Belayev shots. Belayev is still standing. What on earth? Look at the action. Ian, I don't think my voice is going to hold out for the night. <laughs> oh my word. We're not even on the semi finals yet, Ian. Fantastic work. Nice body kick, redness in the nose as well to Asbarov. Well, that's going to slow him down a little. Throwing those kicks into the body, that's a good plan. Look at the welt on his grip section. Nice flick over there. Giving Belayev something different to think about. Oh! oh! Thundering left hook. That leaping. was what you call a looping left hook. And it worked. This is good work, but Belayev back. Belayev has been hit with that left hook about five times already. And he's coming back, punch for punch. You're going to hear the grunts and groans from Asgarov. Oh! Oh! What a chin on Belayev, Ian. What a chin. I've never seen anyone still on their feet after punches like that. This is great where that's a testament to his fitness, his conditioning, the fact he can take shots like that. Well, people don't understand that, Ian. You have to be fit to take a big punch. You're going to have a chin of granite, but to stay standing, you have to be super fit. Oh, look at him. let's go. Let's go, he says. Yeah, that's an awesome conditioning, and he's coming back. Surely, Asbarov's thinking, what do I have to hit him with? The thing is, every time Asbarov's going hard, he is getting tired. He's now telling Belayev, hit me. Oh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will. <laughs> well, we've got about 90 seconds left. These two have given us some fair entertainment to finish the quarterfinals. You know what? I think Belayev could lose this if it goes the distance because of the shots like that that he's taken. Yeah, he's man, what a warrior. Yeah, he's took some shots. He needs to get a finish. And it, 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 there's every chance of him still doing that, Ian. Don't count him out yet, mate. Don't count him out yet. Stop! 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 Belayev's going to have a headache later tonight, I guarantee it. He certainly is. And again, there's a right hand through the middle. I mean, can he come out for another round if he does win this? Well, he will have time to recover after this bout. The last minute now of the oh, qualifying. Oh, nice that body shot. That was a good shot. Asparov showing that bravado, taps his chest and comes forward. Every shot has been with power. Both of them still moving, fainting. Well, we were wondering whether they put the best fighter in first or last. Here, they have saved the best to last. Yeah, both teams, I think, have done the same thing. This has been an awesome final round for the quarterfinals. Seconds left to go now. Rocking back. Belayev. Both guys really going for it. Belayev wants this so much. He wants it so much. You wouldn't want to see either of these guys not finish on the oh, feet after this. Up. Big shots going in. And it's in. It's over. What a fight. Wow. Yeah.
semi-finals Kuznia Krasnodar Ladies and gentlemen, your second team in the semi-finals Ufa Martial Arts Martial Arts, команда Martial Arts Ladies and gentlemen, this Martial is Thermal Play Team Dimitrov using his physical advantage as well There's that jumping knee Dimitrov seems to back off, back off, and then fire something. And he's getting caught on the way. Oh! Oh! Now, that was a spinning elbow, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that caught him with the elbow. I definitely caught him with the elbow. But it's rocked him there, whether it was legal or not, intentional or not, it has rocked him. Achikov cannot get inside, he's just too small. There you can see, look, he's reaching. And when he's reaching, He's opening up his head for punches on knees. He is making for a little bit of a scrappy fight because he just, just doesn't seem to be able to, to, to deal with the height there of Dimitri. Stop, stop, stop. There we go, that knee again. Even if you put your arms there, they still hurt. The referee a lot of work here, that was a front kick. The referee's been quite lean for these two to be honest, I thought a yellow card would have been given. Oh, he got through that time. Yeah, that's the first bit of success really there for Markov. The height and reach disadvantage, the height and reach advantage is just so way off each guy, they have to clinch to save themselves. Oh, that knee went through. Yeah, it did. That's sunk into him. He needs to follow up. Maybe some oh, whoa, again. Clinching knee. Maybe some punches to the body or something. You know, he lands a good shot. He needs to follow up with something different just to keep the action flowing. And that, he's asked for that yellow card, really. Well, like you say, it's legal in Thai. It's legal in K1. 
But to keep the action moving here, it is illegal. You have to keep moving. We're not allowing clinches because it would slow down the action. Because it's a team sport, no matter how tight you get, once the bout is over, you can change positions with one of your teammates. But well, Archkov has got three punches, he can do it. But the few and far between, maybe one or two in all the... You know, oh! oh! That was an elbow! The referee's allowing it. It was the same move as before. Been an elbow. I mean, it is a good variety of shots here from Dimitriev. That's a cross of just two. His face is all red and swollen. Yeah, he must feel like he's fighting an uphill battle here. Well, uphill being the right word, but look at the size of his opponent. He's got a, he's got a punch uphill. It's a steep uphill for him. Oh, he wobbled there, he wobbled there, and again. Okay. Yeah, this is Oh! A, it's not going to go much longer this year, I don't think. That's what I wanted him to do, throw those punches in afterwards. The thing is, oh, when you're, when you're fighting for your team as well, you kind of take more punishment than you should. You feel obliged you to feel keep obliged. going. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly the word I was looking for. Achikov has been rocked twice. Yeah, big knees. Oh, he fires back with the right hand. But not without falling through the rope. I don't think he's got much more left. Yeah, he's, he's done. Oh, yeah, good work by his coach. His coach has said you've had enough. Well done. Yeah, let him fight another day. He might come back. Ovechkin now steps in. Fighter number two. Oh, I apologise. It's Ishimbaev. Ishimbaev. They change the strategies. They change the fighters each time they come out as a team. I apologise. It's interesting to see how they've changed as well. Obviously, they put the fresher ones in at the start. But I mean, Sago. He, he stood there. He's warming up. He's coming out last. He looked so composed. He didn't actually look like he tied himself out in the last round. So. I mean, what a wealth of talent we've already seen from that corner. Well, both guys have won earlier. Or both, should I say, both teams have won earlier. This is the route to the final. So Dmitriev. Shimbiev having a better chance now getting through that guard, that very high guard of Dmitriev. Yeah, Shimbiev already having more success. Than his teammate Akarkov. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great to be so tall like that? The knees that he's thrown to head height. It's just like him lifting up his leg without jumping. Such a tall fighter. Oh, oh big, big shots! Oh, big shots from Ishimbaev! Shimbaev much more organised, nice and tight, and he just fired those shots straight counter there. Dmitriev doesn't like these punches, he doesn't like it. Nice, he's got a very soft, that Eastern European boxing stance. Shimbaev. Oh, oh, he keeps his head over the top of the rope so he doesn't get hit. To be honest, Shimbaev. Let him off there, he let him off big style. That was some good sportsmanship there, I think, because he could have carried on firing. It looks like he's breaking him down here, Ian. Yeah, he's picking him apart now. Nice knee. Oh, oh he's wobbly. Dimitriov's had enough, he's had enough. He's stayed there, he's had enough. Yeah. I think it's over. Yes, it's over. Lebedev now. The Bedev versus Yashimbaev. Five more minutes on the clock. Here we go. Every time there's a new fighter, five minutes on the clock. That's it, so Yashimbaev needs to suck it up and get ready for a fresh five. He looks pretty fresh, doesn't he? He does. Nice left hook there by Yashimbaev. Oh, nice high kick, though. That skipped the, the nose. The Bedev has a nice tight stance. Yeah, again, that's a nice Muay Thai sort of style. Tight hands, hunched up shoulders. Oh, lovely teeth. Gets 
Just over the left hook on the way in, though. Yeah, the, the ringside coaches nearly got hit with a spinning kick there. Yeah, that's the narrowness of this ring. Not a lot of room for his spinning techniques. Although we have seen a fair few tonight. Nice low kick, strong. Very sharp level of but a sharp punches are coming back these, from Vishen These guys are equally matched. These guys look well matched together. Definitely. Again with that low kick. Oh, left hook. And watch the kicks though come back from Lebedev. It definitely seems to be edging punches to Ishambayev, edging kicks to Lebedev. Oh, that caught him in the liver. He's still going on. He winced there. Well, that little stop by the referee might have given him a breather. Oh, oh, nice knee. Straight in the liver again. The thing is, he had a hold of the head, but that's it, it's all there. Shimbaev is gone. We're now on to number three, which is Ovechkin. So Lebedev. I'm sure the confidence of Lebedev will be coming after those two solid shots to finish that one. Ovechkin standing his ground. Nice tight guard, gets caught with a liver kick, nods his head. Fires a liver kick back. Oh, nice team! So Veskin, we have seen earlier, this is the first guy I think that's come out for a second. Oh! oh! Two huge shots! What a shot! How did they both take those? Oh! oh! They are really going for this, Ian. Someone's going to get knocked out. We're to not the liver, to the liver. Not even a minute into this one. Wow, the level of stand-up by these guys is tremendous. Ovechkin driving forward, not giving Lebedev room to move, which is a good plan against the kicker. Oh, nice. Lebedev starting to feel it now. Mouth is wide open. Oh, this is a body shot. This is a bullying performance from Ovechkin. Oh, look at this man. Nice through. Nice through the guard. Lebedev in his own corner. His teammates screaming to him. Lebedev looks like he wants to give up. I'm sure he'll keep on going, but very, very tight indeed. Very tight guard. Oh! We've just seen the Matrix. Yes. <laughs> the thing with Lebedev, he needs room because he likes to kick and Ovechkin's not giving him any room. Walking him down, keeping him against the ropes. Well, the score is 3-2 right now. Three fighters left for Kuznia. Two fighters left for martial arts. Yellow card given to Lebedev. Oh, Jack! Kick. is he going to carry on trying to drive forwards? Oh, oh my oh. God! Oh, he was on the ropes and he took one to the stomach. The body kick there while his leg was up. Well, to be honest. It's still legal because it was still within the roles of the fight. The, the referee didn't shout break, the referee didn't shout stop. He got caught with his leg over the top and immediately, in seconds, that was a clean kick. Boom, there we go. If the referee had called break, then fair enough, it would have been a legal kick. Okay, well, Lebedev looking like he wants to carry on. Not sure exactly what was said there. Oh, my God. 
Well, just taking a kick like that as he did up against the ropes. Even if it was a legal punch, that's going to hurt him. Well, Lebedev's got that room now. Can he throw the kicks in? Keep Ovechkin off. Ovechkin needs to be careful over his arms like that. There isn't much room to swing a cat, never mind lift your arms open and you're gonna take a punch. Oh, very, very risky. I want to see Lebedev firing that shot off now. Firing the liver kick in. He's had so much success, there oh, it is. Oh, there it is. You said it, you gave it. Nice little combination inside there from Lebedev. Right up, goes left up. Well, was that a balance? Was that a slip? Or was that tightness made him fall? Has Ovechkin blown himself out? He was pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. How much has he got left? There's a minute and 15 seconds left in this round. Really? Still bouncing on his toes, but like you said, not as many shots being thrown. Yeah, his game plan's definitely changed. Oh, oh, nice! Oh, lovely uppercut on the way down. As he was falling, he hit him with an uppercut. I love the hands of Oveshkin. Yeah, well, as I said, he was tired. He threw a five-punch combination. Just to prove me wrong. And look at that. He doesn't look tired now, does he? Oh! The power! Oh! Lebedev is claiming another low blow there. Well, how many low blows is that in one round? I think it's time to change. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Two on two. We've now got Fremenov. Vechkin will want to stay in and wear down his opponent, ready for the last guy to take victory. Again, there's a lot of tactics. A lot of tactics. Well, there is. Well, Kuzdjev still got. Nikitenko. Well, Nikitenko, we know he's tough. We've just seen him fight. Terminator, three guys. Tough. Yeah, he's the not so secret weapon. For the first year team. So here, Frimidov doing a good job himself. Full of energy bouncing yeah. around. Oh, nice teeth to the tummy. That was a very nice, sharp team, wasn't it? Not a pushing one. Well, his shoulders are strapped up as Freeman off. Both of them are strapped up, you just wonder why. Nice, nice, nice. Right hand over the top. Ovechkin has still got power. Okay, Ovechkin has got beautiful body shots. That left up to the body that he throws is really, really devastating. See, what you have to remember, if you stay in, you have to complete the five minutes. Unless you knock out your opponent or you get knocked out yourself. And I mean knocked out as in you can't carry on. Not necessarily knocked out unconscious. Vetskin still going strong but tired. It's a big decision to make when you do three and a half, four minutes to stay in for another five. Works that body again, a little bit low on the left hook. Again, Freemanov wanting to work, getting a bit of space, firing shots, and he's very, very fresh. Oh, nice knee, but he clinched, he clinched. Freemanov is wondering why he's getting told off. Ovechkin's mouth guard has just fell out of his mouth for no reason other than his mouth is wide open because he is tired. Gasping for breath. You can see, oh. oh, you heard that. You heard that hit the box. It's a different sound. It's a different noise when it hits the groin guard. It's a cringing noise. Yeah, that was definitely a groin guard. 
Here we have the replay. Oh, yeah, it was like an inside kick. He's shaking his head, but I think that's because he was saying it wasn't intentional, not because it didn't hit. Oh, nice low kick, that was hard. Nice check that time, though. Oh! Beautiful, that. Landed the first one, the second one was checked, so he threw it all the way through to the back leg on the third one. That's textbook, really, isn't it? That's what you do. Really, really good work. Nice right hand, though. Vetchkin is still there. Oh, he took a shin to the chin. Look at the movement there of Fremenov. He's come back well, though, Vetchkin. He does recover well. Fremenov's got beautiful movement. The angles that he moves at when he's being attacked. There we go again to see the little, the little sidestep, the little turn. Yeah, beautiful pivots. Fremenov again is one of the ones to say he's a bit smaller in the 80 to 90 category, but he uses the movement so well. It's been lovely to see the different styles, how the different body shapes, body types have worked differently. Yeah, Vetchkin is leaning forward a little bit too much on these punches. Pushes his opponent away this time. Nice left hand. Well, that's why that low front kick has worked so well. The low, low kick to the front leg, sorry, oh, should I say. Oh, left hand. Fremenov threw a nice left hook. Fired back now, though. Vetchkin is using that weight, that power in the body to push his opponent back. Fremenov comes back with a beautiful right hand. Shrugs his shoulders as if to say, is this all you got? Vetchkin's so tough, he's done nearly 10 minutes here. Fremenov is on the, on the attack now. Nice. Well, after these five minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to leave the two fresh guys to duke it out, ready for the final. And if both these guys, the two last guys, put three guys out each in the first round. That is amazing. You couldn't pick a better matchup. I want to see it. I really want to see I, it. I do too. <laughs> yeah. Again, Fremenov just coming forward, doing enough just to stay on top, doing yeah. enough just to keep ahead. He's still just the slightly fresher of the two with her and the fact that he's not done as long, I think. It's fair play to Ovechkin, he's took some shots, he's given some shots. There we have it. Five minutes of great kickboxing. But who goes through and who goes out? It's two each right now. Well, I, I, well, I, I agree with you, I'd like to see these two get out and let's see these two Terminators fight each other. Well, the coach the team won. Does Fremenov stay in or does he go out? No, well, let's see. Can he at least wear down Sagov, who, as we saw before, it is so good on the counter, so relaxed, so composed. He, did, he, he stopped three people in the first round and didn't seem to break a sweat. Well, Nikitenko, for him to fight, Fremenov has to lose this bout. So I'm not sure if that's a wise decision or not. Why? Well, if Sagos first round is anything to go by, he's gonna he's gonna put him out because Fremenov's already tired. He's smaller. Sagos for me was the standout in the first round in the quarterfinals. I have to agree, and I have to agree. He was cool, collected. He was fast as well, just there with a beautiful counter left hand. And again, well, it was that it was that left hand that knocked out two guys in the first round. This is slightly different because we've got a southpaw, Fremenov, although he's switching. Well, I, I, I kind of take the out of the Fremenov because he must think to himself, right, I'm going to wear out Sagov. I'm going to wear Sagov out so that my teammate, Nikki Tenko, can take him apart. He's kind of sacrificing himself. Of course, himself. That he's got to be. If he's not sacrificing himself, he must think he's going to win. Well, again, we just see this great showings of heart from all these guys. Sagov, little bit. Oh, look at that man, power. Left hook, right hand down the pipe. 
Look how fast that jab is, man. Switch his switch stance. Right hand jab now. Switch is back. Oh, one, two. Nikitenko looking on. He knows what he's got to deal with. Chances are it's going to be him against Sagov in a minute. Oh, look at that. Honestly, God, that jab is super fast. He moves well for a big guy. He's working the body. Fremenov throws a big overhand right. Fremenov still giving him something to think about. Sagov picking him off. Oh, nice kick to the liver. Well, in all fairness, Fremenov is doing better than I expected him to after five minutes already. He's just had a five-minute war. He's up against one of the most dangerous strikers in this team event. Yet, he's hanging in there. He's halfway through. Yes, he's done better than some of the guys did in the first round against Segov. Oh! Nice right hand! Sagov needs to pay attention to that. Look how fast Sagov is, though. Fremenov really working here for his teammate, Nikita. Oh! Oh! This is great work. Question mark kick straight over the top. And again! And again. Oh! He's got him! Oh! Ian! He's gone down! Ian! That is amazing! He's gone down! He's, he, can't, he can't recover! He's Stop over! Him. It's out! Stop what him. a finish! <laughs> what a finish! Oh, wow! Well, I didn't see that coming, I'll be honest. As I said, Sagov for me was the standout of the first round. And Primanov, for one of the smaller fighters in his competition, was absolutely phenomenal there, Ian. That was a finish of a world title fight. Never mind the semi final. The semi final. Second team going through to the semi finals from Moscow Fight Nights. 
Oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, he's limping, he's limping. Get your boy, he's limping. He took a big kick before he gave one back and he started limping. The disciple has been hacking that front leg kick in. He knows there's an injury there. He's obviously seen the weakness, but he also needs to watch out for shots going back at himself. Again, he kicks that leg. Well, Kertovoy does not seem to have any problem throwing a kick with that leg, although he has a knee brace on. Oh, nice, powerful shot. Oh, again, throws that kick to the bad knee. Yeah, but Gertevoy is more assertive. Gertevoy, Gertevoy is too much on top. He's making himself get clinched. He's making himself have a messy fight. I think if he just kept a little bit of a space between the two of them, he could get his shots in cleaner. Yeah, just rushing, just crowding his Yeah, work, yeah, you're right, yeah. Just too much on top, allowing his opponent to grab him, although grabbing is illegal in Thermopylae. Again, that kick to the knee. Oh, 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 that was low, you could see that. Yeah, it's the end of the tours, that can be a bad one. I do not understand Russian, but it's something along the lines of, no more low kicks. No more low, no more low kicks. <laughs> Watch out for them. Are you ready? Let's go. So watch the Cypher to carry on that attack on the front leg. The other boy needs to keep that. Oh! 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 Chris right hand! I don't think he knows what hit him there. Down the pipe. He's lucky he doesn't know what's going on there. He looks very confused. One more shot. Oh, nearly. That was another one. Gertevoy needs. This is the chance. This is where he needs to give himself room. Yeah, here. he needs to give himself room. Seferin has been tagged. Still firing back though. Gertevoy needs to just take his time. He's still unsteady on his legs. He needs to pick that shot. His corner should be telling him. Fire that right hand down the pipe. Well, take your hat off to Shefedin. So you fed in all oh, got caught with the left hand. Again, as you said, just crowding the room. He's just going to get that shot off. He needs a little bit of room. The right hand down the pipe, kid.
Well, let's see. He's got, he's got to be one of the smallest guys in the whole competition. He must be on the very, very low end of 80 kilograms. But the smaller guy could be the fastest guy. Here we go, five minutes on the clock. Let's see if that speed now can beat size. Dubarev, teak to the stomach. Big deep breath there from Kurtovoy. Oh, nice kick to the to the liver. Those combinations that worked through in the first round. Three, four shot combinations he was throwing. See if he starts to do the there same. you go. Punch, punch, kick, punch, punch, kick. That's what we saw. Nice inside kick, Zuberev not wasting any energy right now. Gets tagged with a, with a big right hand, big stiff punch. And again. That's the right hand that stopped his team there. Oh, one, two. Zuberev fired back. It's nice and sharp, Zuberev. Better boy is not as aggressive. Obviously saving a little bit of energy here. I don't think he can be against the work rate of Zubarev. Every time he steps in, he's doing something. Oh, high kick! Oh, nicely done. Zubarev is waiting for the counter. He's not forcing anything forward. He's waiting for Gerdeboy to come forward and maybe drop the hands as he throws. Nice stiff jab. Nice liver kick. Oh! oh look at that. For a little guy, he's got power. Bags and bags of heart. As we said, that nice body kick again. Second time he's had that underneath the elbow. Tired to say, Goethe boy showing his push to the floor. Yeah, he's, he's grabbing a hold of his knee as well. Goethe boy is kind of complaining his knee is hurting. I saw him limp in his last bout. But this is kind of good for Zubarov. He doesn't really have to go to town. Oh, oh that's that. it. Yeah, the knee is out. done, it's over. Oh, Come 
Another stiff jab, left uppercut. Yeah, the power's just too much for him. He hasn't got the power to finish it himself. And he hasn't got the body type to take those punches. Oh, big shots. It's loading up now. Teeing off. It must be hard as a teammate to watch this happen. You're watching your teammate getting punched. You're watching your teammate taking big shots for you because that's what it's all about. You're doing it for the team. But it's equal, it's three men each. Three's a piece. Nice. Oh, he's down. Is he going to get back up? Yeah, it's just a nice, it's kind of like a leg kick, but with a sweep at the same time. Oh, that right hand just missed. They would have knocked him back into Moscow, I think, if that happened. Yeah. Oh, there's big shots again. Subarev showing toughness to take these shots. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, he's he looking. Can't, yeah, he can't take any more. That's... Nikita looking oh, for the face. No. Look at those shots. No. The referee should ask him if he wants to fight. Zubarev showing so much heart staying there. Oh. His teammates are asking him to continue. Oh, what a guy. I mean, sometimes fighters are just too. Oh, a head kick! They're just too tough for their own good. Yeah, he nodded his head, just goes back in. Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice to watch. And look at this, he's only got a minute left. No, that's good call by the referee. Yeah. Good call by the referee. Oh. Now, on my scorecard, I am. Uh, Yazev. Yazev is on next. After Zubarov. We're down to two to three. Yazev versus Nikitin. Now these two have the same body type. This will not be one-sided like the last belt we've just watched. Oh, Yazev with a big right hand. He wants to give payback. You've just hit my little teammate. I'm gonna make you pay. Nice hands, nice hands. Look at the cool composure on his face. Yes, nice work from yourself there. As you say, composed assault. What he then head. Oh! That was some awesome shot. Oh! Kick to the head. He's still standing. That is legal. He's still standing. So accurate. Look at the damage he's done. Blood pouring from the nose now. He's looking for a finish. Looking for that knockout. The Keating firing back. 
Nizem needs to be careful the way he's jumping forward like that. If he jumps onto a punch, it will feel twice as hard. Up, oh, knee. Was that to the body? It I'm not sure, I'm not sure. It looked legal to me. The way he fell, it could have been anywhere. Let's see. Hat, hat, very hard to tell. Very hard to tell from that angle. He can't carry on anyway. It's over. Oh, we're down to the final fighter, Chernov. Get up. Get up. Oh, Nikitin's going to carry on. Yep, Nikitin is going to carry on. So. Can Chernov pull this back here for his well, team? Chernov has to beat three guys now. He has 15 minutes to do it in. There'll be some feet if he can. Well, we, had, we spoke about this this afternoon. We said, what happens if there's one guy left and four guys standing? That one guy has to beat the four. Well, not quite four, but he has to beat three. And what an outcome that would be. Oh, and we've, we've seen things like that already tonight. Anything could happen. Well, this is Thermopylae team combat. He's the only one left in the team. He has to beat three guys to go through to the final. Oh, nicely done. He's got to do the Keaton first. But there were times there against Zayev that, Keaton, um, that the Keaton looked like he was going. Oh. Well, I didn't even see that. Obviously, he had his back to us, so. Well, it's out. Who's this coming in now? Because they changed their tactics. Yeah. This is uh, one of the alternates on the side of the uh, Well, so it must be uh, Doroshenko. Mikhail Doroshenko is never fought. Doroshenko versus Chernov. Chernov has finished one guy. He has to finish another two. Doroshenko goes high. And still Goliath there waiting to come out. We've seen earlier, so this is going to be tough, but Chernov's done one of the three. Doroshenko waves him forward, but... Team tie, but misses. Well, this is kind of catch-22. Does Chernoff go hard and heavy to try to finish his guy quick? And then face the last fighter? Or does he just take his time, save his energy, and see out the round? It's a hard one to call. I think the long training one could be harder. I think it might be easier trying to blast him out. And again, only he knows because how does he train? Is he fit in the gym? Does he train for long rounds? Is he used to the long rounds? Or is he a finisher? Yeah. If he's a finisher, he needs to go quick. Nice left hook. Chernoff catches him beautifully. Very sharp counter. There's still, you see the damage that right kick underneath the elbow. Again, he's the one doing the damage. We've seen that from so many fighters tonight. Well, wouldn't this be a fairy tale if Chernoff comes back and beats these guys? I think his team would be over the moon, to say the least. He avoided that left hook beautifully as well. The head was really swift. Axe kick is the mark. Chain of their winks out of the ring. Still looking confident. Put away one of three. Look at the damage he's done with that right kick. Just not getting through with that right hand. The guard of Garashenko was tight. He's killing away the points. He's landing shots. Oh, that was a knee through the middle. Knee fired back. That was nice. It was, and I, 53 seconds left, I would say, here. Chernoff's racking up quite hard, but then he gets caught. But he's definitely ahead of points in my book. Which would line up a very nice fight with Goliath. Oh, 
But there's 30 seconds where that could change. Gets him in the corner. They grab him with the head. They've got to, got to keep apart. They can't clinch. Big deep breath though by Chernoff. The corner of Dadashenko is going crazy. He is screaming instructions. Chernoff fighting for his whole team. He's put one away. It looks like he's won this one. Very possibly. He takes a deep breath himself. Oh, nice shot. Sidestep. Beautiful. Look at the damage there to Dadashenko. His eyes beat up. Chernoff still looks fairly fresh in his face. Not, he's not took that many shots. The damage is to the body of Dereshenko. You can see Dereshenko. the bruising, yeah, you can see it. The welts are high, the welts are hard. And to be honest, Chernoff looks to fit with the two right hand. That's a good shot down the middle. The round must be nearly over. I would imagine. Can't be long left. Well, to be honest, when I seen 50 seconds left, I thought, that seems like a short five minutes. Yeah. I'm just wondering if they carried on the timer from the last fight. So they took that timer off and now they're working on their stopwatch over there. Very possibly. It did seem like it wasn't here it went quickly. I was just going on what I saw in front of me. But here we go. They have no idea of the timing there anyway, so it doesn't make a difference to them. Chernov is coming back beautifully. Hands are down for his cool, he's calm, he's collected. Sidesteps the body. The face is marked up, the body is marked up. Dadashenko is feeling the punishment now. Well, I have now we're down to 40 seconds, I believe. Okay, so that's the cover time. 30 seconds left. In my book, Chernov has won again. Oh, oh nice. great shot. Oh. Looking for the finish. Goliath well, itching to get out. We saw how dangerous he was earlier. And he knows how tight Chernov is. Beautiful body shots though. He's definitely got into a rhythm here. There we have it. Well, I think you're right, Ian. I think Chernov may go through to the final fight. But he's up against the fantasy well, comeback. Against the Goliath showed us how dangerous it was earlier. Well, Dalashenko was not happy with the decision. It's very fair. And it does make him for a mouthful in matchup with these two. Goliath is in the first round. I think Goliath is going to go hard in the head. Yeah, well, we saw the shots he took earlier. He, he, he has got a chin and a half on him. And he's swinging hard as well. Nice movement. Oh, yeah, good body kick. He's not quite got his distance yet. Goliath swinging, but out of range. I mean, the weight on these two fighters' shoulders right now must be heavy. It certainly is. They've got a final riding on this. Well, this is the semi-final. Final match! Wow, big right hand! The winner of this takes it through to the final. Few shots going in, but you've got to say for Liam, showed us how many he can take. I think if I was turned up and I knew what happened that first round, I'd be working to the body. Trying to throw big body shots in, trying to work down the layer. Yeah, because the last time we seen him fight, he was hurting me in his opponent's hands. Yeah, <laughs> because he was taking the shots so hard. That's it. I think if you see someone with such a big chin, you work the body. Oh, look at the power. There's that punch again. Goliath takes it on the chin. The chin is like an anvil. Nice timing there on the sweep. Oh! Well, there's still power in those hands. 
Yes, that comes a fairly fresh turn off. See, he's done 10 minutes. Catches him with the left hand. His teammates all there behind him, excited. Willing him on. Well, he just has to win the round. He doesn't have to knock him out. We'd love to see that, but I think Belayev is going to take that many punches. He ain't going to go down. It's going to be a tough, tough five minutes for both guys. Here we go, deep press from Chernov. Chernov is a superstar. If he wins this, that's some story to tell your kids. Oh. <laughs> well, it was three to one, and I smashed all three of them. Oh, nice head kick! Goliath takes the shots, he comes back, but he's taking the big shots again. Turn off racking up points. Exactly, that's what he's doing. He's racking up points, he's winning the round. We're past the halfway mark of this round. Oh! Oh! What a shot! What has he got for a head? Moving it. It's only so long. However, does the chin? It's only so long you can take shots for. Yeah, try telling Belayev that. Wow. Again, he gets caught with the left up on the way in. Turn off. Covers up. Takes a deep breath. There's no resting in this game. Absolutely. Oh man! Huge left up. Again, balancing shots with his chin. Will Chernoff be the man to put him down? Look at the head movement. Oh, big right hand over the top. Oh, oh. 90 seconds left here. Well, I'm a fan of Chernoff. I'm also a fan of Belayev for the, for the tough chin, but Chernoff to go three fighters. And if it stays at this rate, he'll have won all three fighters. Definitely, definitely. Fantastic pace. But well, let's not have out Belayev. Belayev drop. Belayev drop. That's the first kid we've seen him be. Belayev went backwards. He bounced off the ropes and came back. Do you know how fit you have to be to go at this pace? Unbelievable. Unbelievably fit to go at this pace. I've seen guys in the gym go a minute at this pace and then fall on the floor, exhausted. This is one tough, tough sport. You to fight with the pressure on you as well, your whole team's pressure on you. And to fight non-stop, no rest. This is phenomenal work from both guys. Under a minute now, Ian. Under a minute to decide who goes through to the final. Turn off spinning monkey. Nearly got a guillotine, not allowed. <laughs> Chernoff just needs to create his teeth and dig deep. I think he's ahead on points. Oh, he's catching him. Great head movement by Chernoff. His distance and his movement has been so good all night. Wouldn't it be a shame if Chernoff gets knocked out in the last 30? Yeah, I'd like to see him come back. I just I think he's earned it. I really do. But Belayev saying that he's took so many shots tonight. Like, just oh, like that. You know, yeah. you, you know yourself, Ian. What? Sometimes you're too good for your own good. You can't be yeah. like taking big punches like that. Right. Turn off for me is done enough. No. There we yeah. go! Oh, I think he has for me as well, Ian. I do. Turn off is just made a fairy tale come true. He's just beaten three fighters. If we are right, if we are right, to go through to the final. But man, if he hasn't gone through to the final, the judges have got it wrong.
одержала победу и вышла в финал первого чемпионата России по командным боям команда Учко! Таким образом, в финале встретятся команда Кузня Краснодар и Ушко Челябинск. Ladies and gentlemen, your team finalists from Krasnodar, Kuznia. Ladies and gentlemen, your finalist team from Telyubinsk, Uchko. Your... This is the Thermopylae team of combat. <laughs> And the semi-finals off, winning three fights in the first round. He's taking on Cypher again. Same order for Uchko as there was in the last round. So Nikitenko, full round off, full round of rest. Let's see if it can come out fast. As I say, Nikitenko's got power. We did know that the hand was really submitted, but... Sorry, his legs were really submitted, but his hands weren't that great. So that like needs to be tight against Nikitenko. Oh! Right hand. Nikitenko put away three guys in the first round. But they're still coming forward. It must be so hard to get yourself back up for another round. Nice, one, two. Do you know what I think what gives them the spur, what gives them that extra movement, that extra power, that extra will to win is because they're doing it for a team. It's not for themselves. People can give in for themselves. You can't give in for your team. Oh, that's it. The team spirit is high. You can see between them as they're all standing there before the start. And Nikitinko taking some shots. Well, He's that's the best I've seen of Sefedin. And that's what he needs to do, Nikitinko. He's marked up from that first yeah, round. Yeah, Nikitinko, look at the swell under his right eye. He's got a big mouth under the right eye. That hasn't gone down from his last fight. And like you see, he hasn't fought in the last bout for right hand. Well, we saw Sefedin badly rocked in that last round. A couple of times it looked like he was going to finish, he managed to get through to the end of the round. How much has he recovered? The thing is as well, when you're battered and bruised, and especially when you're getting hit in the same spots, you, you don't kind of go in as hard and as fast, and you try to take your time, but look at this, inside leg kicks from Seferin. 
Takes it right hand. Kachenko <laughs> swinging in there, but did manage to land anything clean. So moves back to the middle. The two men have done so far. Nice job there by Seferin. Oh, gets caught with the right hand. Kick to the liver. Tries it again. Spinning back fist, landed about the forearm. That dip down left up to the body is a favourite shot of his. That's what I love about these Russian fighters, they work their body so well. Yeah, we've seen it all night from every single team. There's a mouse coming over to the, the left eye now, under the right eye and over the left eye. Yeah, the one under the right eye was already there, but that's a brand new one. From the shots from Seferin. Seferin's got blood coming out of his mouth, I believe. So brutal. This is a brutal sport. Fast, furious, exciting. You have to be tough to fight here in the third oh, place. Oh! Big right hand over the top. Nods his head in favour of carrying on, but for how long? He takes a left hand with a right. Nikitenko looking to finish. He can't afford to walk onto a strip himself either, though, Ian. Yeah, his eye could split at any moment. There's a spin in it. His eye's nearly closed, Ian. He's it squinting is. out that eye. Two big lumps on the head. Even if he wins this bout, I think he should dare uh, swap over. That he certainly can't carry on, can it? Not with them sort of marks. Nice uppercut. Nice stiff jab. Could this be the fourth person Nikitenko beats tonight? Oh, left hook! Big shots from both guys there. We're down to the final minute. Oh, nice duck under. Retaliates well, but he's got no power in those shots. No, but he's cracking up the points, so and that's what could count in the next 50 seconds. Oh, liver shot! Nikitenko trying to get the points back himself. Oh, right hand! But you know what, them spinning heel kicks, it takes a lot of energy. Tired, but he still goes for them. Again, working that body. Nice right up to the body this time. Final 30. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Who's got in the heart? It's close. Again, That's that body shot. <laughs> Lovely work to the body. It's not the punches, it's the knees. Oh, look at that up. Oh! Now he's taking the lead, right at the end of the round. And there we have it. Let's see who gets it. Surely, surely, even if Nicky Tenko wins that, he needs to sit out. Yeah, Kuzmir won that, it. he's staying in, what a tough guy, what a tough guy. Luckily, he's up against the smallest of the whole of the teams. But as we've seen, Zubarov, dangerous. And he is going to throw a lot of shots, they might not be the most powerful shots, but he's going to throw a lot of them. And if it, you hit that target, if you hit that mouse, it could spit open either side. Oh, oh, but it is a slip. Everything into that. Go ahead, kick with a slip. But this little guy is tough. Dugrev needs to move, keep moving. He doesn't want to stand in front of this big heavy hitter. He's got to keep firing shots. His combination work was good where he got the best. For that right and that left of the body again. Yeah, sorry. you can see it in blue behind right with a, a body shot. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's oh, gone! Oh, he's got him! He's there down! were some solid shots! Oh, wow. my word! Nicky Tenko apologizes for hitting him on the way down, but that's what Edmund, that's what the, yeah. this sport is all about. There were some wicked shots there. 
very bad intentions. And here we go. That's five guys he stopped tonight. That's unbelievable. While well, he's got his eye half shut. Yazeb is now in front, a fresher guy. It's down four to two. Can this man do it again? Takes a big right hand down the middle. I actually think you can't, I'm not going to put anything past him now after this performance tonight. Absolutely amazing. But he's still there, still throwing shots and still putting people away. And it only takes one shot, we've just seen it. He just winked at his opponent. He said something to him, then winked at him. He's smiling. Smiling is his taking the shots, looking to line up his own. It's fast work now from Zayazev. Zayazev. I've just got to say, Zayazev is pinning him against the corner, but he steps back. He doesn't want to get a counter of a big shot. He can take Coke and catch you at any time. And the shots are going here, but these aren't the most solid of shots. They don't look like fight finishes, but maybe that's not what you need when you've got someone who's lumped up that bad. Maybe he doesn't need to throw everything in. He doesn't need to commit. Sigatenko just taking his time. He's already beaten two guys. Save a little bit of energy. As the time goes by, then he'll come back hard and strong. I just know it. See, there we go. Big overhand right. See, Chernov stood in the corner there waiting to come out for the Uchka team. And if I didn't know that he, he was so good, I'd be thinking he looks a bit too laid back. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, solid shots there from Nikitenko. Oh, again with a spin and back fist. Kuznia still on the first man. Nikitenko's the first man out again. They're yeah, clinching again. Yazev is looking good. Just doing enough. Oh! Oh, look oh at my word! He has rocked him there, Ian. How many times is this guy going to knock someone out? Now, look at this. Nikichenko. Yeah. Ian, Ian, I don't want to start predicting things, but we could have the dream finish here. If Nikichenko leaves Chernoff to beat four guys, I wouldn't put it past Chernoff doing that. Well, he's already beaten three. <laughs> he's already beaten three. Nice, nice liver shot. Yeah, Zev actually winced a little bit when he got hit with that liver punch. Oh, we've still got two minutes left of this round. No looking to the future yet because there's plenty of action right here. Peppering the shots in, one, two with a knee. He really went for the clinch, knew he wasn't allowed. Nicky Tenko just building up that energy again. He takes a few shots. Say, oh my word, he's caught him again. Shots. Looking for the finish, but he comes back with the knees. This is backwards and forwards action. No man taking this forward. Oh, 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 he's rocked there again. Nicky Tenko is one powerful dude. He bends over to get a rest, but who can blame him? Who can blame him? He's on now to his 13th minute, 14th minute. There's a big right hand he's looking for. There's a lot more shots coming in now. Oh! But the bigger shots are coming from Nikitenko. I don't think that was a punch. I think he just slipped out the way and fell. Under a minute to go. Big deep breath. What power does Nikitenko have left? Well, well there's right one. Now. And there's two. Oh, big shots. Look at this amazing work when he's got so so little energy left. He still managed to put everything into these shots. He could have won this round as well. But if I'm a betting man, if he does win the round, I don't think he'll carry on. Well, 
Chernoff still cools a cucumber in the corner, waiting to come out next. I know you wouldn't think he's going to fight next. <laughs> the crowd are going crazy. This is what Thermopylae team combat is all about. This is like a rocket. Oh, oh, look at oh, that! Oh, wow! Fantastic work, look at that! Right on the last second! He is looking for a finish, wow! Whoa! What a fighter! What a guy! That was absolutely amazing work here. He's got it, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. So that's six guys he's wiped out tonight here. Vicky Tenko steps down. Now, could we get the dream finish here from Chernov? Loginov versus Chernov. Chernov has three guys to beat. To win the final, he gets it with the overhand right. Well, that could have been a one-punch knockout. Nearly two. He knows he has to finish everyone. We know he's hard to hit, he's got good distance and he slips back off well. He fires in good shots himself. He's good with kicks, he's good with punches. Chernov is an all-round complete package for this event. Nice wide stance, like a karate stance. Bouncing light on his feet is Chernov. One man left between the title for the Kuzhnya team. Three men left for the title for the Uchko team. Nice low kick. Well, to win this first team, Chernoff would have to equal Nikki Tenko's six men in one night. Oh, oh, oh. oh my word. That's some achievement. Well, he's looking for the knockout, and who can blame him? I think it's the only thing he can do is try to get at least one quick finish. Doesn't want to fight for 15 more minutes. 14 more as he's left. Oh, walks onto a right hand again. Well, he's doing well so far. Like I said, he doesn't want to go the distance with all three guys. He may have to, but he doesn't want to. And you've got a, two good fighters ready to go. Oh! Victor Kolesnik is next. If the fight goes to another round, Victor Kolesnik is fresh and he's a damn good fighter, believe you with me. For now, Loganov trying to back up Chernoff. Not wasting any energy, just taking his time, moving well. Oh, we walk onto a punch though, Chernoff. Yeah, he needs to be a bit careful. Click there. Swinging that overhand right, he really wants that overhand right to work. Again with that overhand. Chernoff having to take some risks. Saw that coming. Yeah, spinning a miss. Oh, beautiful combinations. That swing and a miss. You see the power that Chernoff still has, even when he's getting a little bit tired. He likes to try and work the legs. Try to slow down his Well, the overall night tonight has been amazing. The Mopoli team combat, the first time that we've ever did this, Ian. It's kind of the first time I think my voice is going to be done in the morning. The level of intensity throughout the whole event has been so high. I've never had a chance to rest. I've never had a chance to be quiet. I've screamed, I've shouted, I've took off my seat. And look at these two. Oh, 
that this sport came out now when I'm tired. <laughs> because if somebody wanted to this team and they asked me to do this, I'd be like, hell no. <laughs> it certainly is brutal, as we said earlier. This is two amazing combatants firing shots at each other. It's just the fitness it's level, Ian. I mean, the fitness level, the skill level is second to none. The fitness level is even better. The heart is absolutely amazing. They're doing it for the team, they're doing it for the city. And obviously they're doing it for Russia. They're doing it for the country. Well remember we've been told earlier that the winner here 
the winning team here will be representing Russia in a, a mixed a, a possible World Cup of fighting. Yeah, well, that's the whole plan for Thermopylae. Have teams from all around the world competing against each other. And tonight's winners will be representing Russia in the World Championships. Well, at the moment, it's looking like it could be Kuznia. Yeah, Kuznia's. And Les Chernov can do something for his team. Kuznia's team of two guys left. Chernov just doesn't... Oh, that head kick. Chernov just doesn't seem to be at the forefront of this fight. This bout. Kolesnik has taken the lead. Is Kolesnik starting to tire yet? Oh, nice body shot. I think Chernoff might need a stoppage and it's going to be very difficult against a fresh man. Nice chest. He's still there though, Ian, he's still there. He is. He's limp. He's been nearly knocked down. He's tired, he's bruised. He's still there. We're under one minute now. Nice counter and kick there. Into the last minute of this round. Can Chernoff pull something special out the bag? Can he get a fairy tale finish? It's going to be tough. Oh, nice head kick. Well, we're down to the 30 second mark. Everybody in this crowd is willing Chernov on. Well, they know how much he's put in. Has Chernov done enough though, Ian? His fifth fight, like you said, against a very, very fresh, very, very skilled. And a nice knockdown right at the end. That could have been the final kick. Well, Мы едем в Лас-Вегас! 